Hey, it's a regular guy, man. I got a, a treat today. I found some quarter inch steel and like some three eighths inch steel. And I think I found one sheet of uh, half inch steel here. To, you know, here, take, take a look at these quick. Uh, well, I found this like three eighths of an inch steel plate right here. It looks like a 12 by 12. And this is like an eighth of an inch plate. I drew out some uh, some squares and we'll get cut out and uh, we'll see if we can make some targets. Then boy, I lucked out earlier. I stopped by the scrap yard and I found this pretty thick. It's a probably quarter inch thick plate. It's three foot by four foot that I'm gonna get cut up. All right, so that's what I found. And you see, I marked them off and everything like that. I ended up cutting them into some steel targets because I wanna see Will a nine millimeter penetrate these? Will the 223 penetrate these? Um, initial assessment, I, I'm gonna say that I, I think it'll stand up to all of them, to be honest. I don't know, the quarter inch, maybe not. Uh, might put a dent and come out the, and see a crack in the back. I don't know. It might go straight through it like a hot knife through butter. But you know what? I'm going out to my friend Jerry's place. We're gonna check it out. And you know what? Let, let's just get right into it. Let's see what we got. All right, it's about five sixteenths of steel. We're gonna see if a nine millimeter or two through three is gonna go through it on this crap I found. All right, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go all the way across. Well, it's hitting a little bit low left and left, but hey, no damage. That was at like 25 yards right there. So it's pretty small. Okay, as you see, I was checking my zero on the pistol. I was shooting a little bit left, had to adjust my side a little bit. It's my first time shooting it since I uh, got the basic zero on the SRO. Well, as you see, it did not penetrate the quarter inch steel. And some of y'all are like, oh, you're shooting left. Yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're like, uh, you know, three or four inch plates or whatnot. I'm shooting like, tw I think it was 23 yards. We ended up measuring it and it's like 23 yards. And uh, so basically it's a headshot at 23 yards, so right at 25 yards. And uh, it did not penetrate. So, I mean, it worked out good. I bought that scrap piece of steel, I think for 10 bucks, that big old sheet, and, and I got it cut up. I was like, you buy an AR-500 target, and man, it's gonna be like like $50 a piece for a little one that's uh, that size. Uh, let's see, uh, what, what else I got going on? Now I'm gonna end up trying uh, with the AR. Let, let's take a look, see how the AR goes. And um, all right, I don't know what's gonna happen. I've got a couple of these quarter inch pieces hanging out there. Uh, because those are the pistol targets, but I want to see, is the AR going to penetrate them? So let's take a look and let's see what we got. This one's three eighths and we're going to see if it goes through nine millimeter or two, two, three. This is a half inch thick. I definitely don't think the nine mil or two, two, three is going to go through. All right, well, I'm out here under the shade tree and, uh, we'll try to hit some of these targets out here. I don't know. It's, uh, some of those winds blowing pretty good. We'll see right, how so it goes. I'm going to try the left targets here and then, uh, then go the middle row of left and then the back one. We'll see if this thing is on or not and we'll see if it penetrates. Oh, all right, going with the big one first. Hit. Oh, yeah. All right, second row. On. Second row, big one. That's close. That was a hit. I see the hole in it. <laughs> it put a hole in it. All right, now I'm going to go for the 125. Dead on. What else we got over here? The two in the middle. Uh, what else we got? Bottom on the bottom right. you sir i was infantry during the war this little one is a thin one like a quarter inch and i got daylight through it with the ar well as you see the quarter inch steel uh, ar will go through it so i'm i ended up actually changing those two that i had hanging out there just that i was testing i put them up there for pistol targets and move some of the thicker steel out there uh let's take a look at the thicker steel and see how it went it did not go through, but it did make a, a dent in it right here. I mean, I paid 10 bucks for this sheet or whatnot and got it cut up. So, I mean, hey, it's worth its money already. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, share. 100 yards. Uh, I was, uh, should have got a little more accurate than that. This one I took a little more time on the shot, but man, there. And once again, these are at the 100. 
Yeah, I put a, put a big dent in all those, but hey, you know what? They're even though I'm shooting pretty quick, they're pretty well pretty well centered. This is at the 108 yards. At least it's pretty consistent, shooting a little bit high at the 100. Like I say, the hard one to hit there. We hit the three inch plate at over 100 yards. That that was difficult right well, there. As you see it. None of the thicker plates it went through, so I am happy about that. Some of my groups weren't that good. I was checking my basic zero on the uh, the uh, optic I got here. I got this Vortex, the Strike Eagle recently, got the LPVO, and I just had like a basic zero. And you know, I'm gonna fine tune it a little bit more, but it was just for testing, and I'll do a review on the Strike Eagle soon. Uh, it was basically just seeing if my zero, my SRO, and my Strike Eagle ended up were, were even on at all. Some of these I was just shooting freehand and standing. I think the distances on there, uh, I had to go back and look at it, but I believe it was it was like right at 99 and 100 on the front row of targets. It was uh, it was like 110 or something on the second row. It was like 125 on the gong you saw back there. But you know what? I'm gonna keep messing with it. Uh, I'm gonna keep messing with the steel and whatnot. Like I said, I ain't gonna be shooting the quarter inch. So if you're looking for pistol targets, you can shoot the quarter inch and uh, it should be fine for nine millimeter or whatnot. You see, it didn't hardly do any damage. But uh, if you're using the AR, you get at least the 3 8 inch or thicker steel because you see it will still take a plug out of it, but uh, you know what? It, it'll last me for a long time. And you know, like I said, I've got less than a hundred bucks and all that stuff out there. So uh, if you've got some other ideas on what to do for some steel targets, cause I do like the positive feedback when you hear that ding or when you see it swing around, you know you had a hit. Um, so if you got some other ideas out there, please share them in the comments. But so that was the test on the quarter inch, the three eighths, and the half of regular steel, what will penetrate it? Let me know what you think. That's a regular guy's opinion.